up guys? Welcome to thepixellab.net. Uh, today I want to talk to you about a question that came up recently and it's in the multi-shader. So if we go to MoGraph multi-shader, um, you know that the traditional way is to open this guy up and load um, individual images into this um, multi-shader, right? So you can load one, then you have to load another, then you have to add one, load the image manually. So the question that I got was, is there a way to bring in an entire folder full of images and just drop them into here and have them already set up? And at first I didn't think there was a way, but I posted it on some forums and got a little bit of direction and uh, finally figured it out. Um, I do want to point out that uh, Robert Legger actually just this morning put out a tutorial on the multi-shader and he's talking about R13 and how it's actually fixed in R13. They have a bring in folder button and you can literally just drag in a folder. Uh, so that's going to be really handy in R13, but in R12 I want to show you kind of a workaround. So the way that we're going to do this, let's go ahead and make a new material, is that we're going to use an image sequence. So we're going to go ahead and load an image, and I have a folder here called JPEG. So if we go into this folder, you'll see that they are all named 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They're sequential, so it's going to be able to uh, interpret this as a video clip. So you click the first one, image 1, we'll go ahead and open that one. And what we're going to have to do is go into the animation. And if you click calculate, it's going to kind of look at that image sequence and uh, try to figure out how they're laid out. So if we hit calculate, you'll see that it now has 10 frames. Uh, start frame 1, end frame 10. So basically what we have now is a image sequence. Um, and this is actually how you would bring in footage out of After Effects. Uh, you would save it as a JPEG sequence, and that's how you can bring in video clips to put in here and put on an object. But anyway, back to the matter at hand. So this is now a video clip. If we go out to our main color channel and go down to MoGraph, let's go ahead and add the multi-shader now. And if we open that up, what it's going to do is basically add that movie clip as shader 1. We don't want that. We want there to be um, 10 different shaders in here, right? Well, this button right here is where the magic happens. Go ahead and click on this guy. This may take several minutes, it says. Are you sure? Absolutely. Let's do this thing. Boom, there it is. 10 layers, all laid out. You don't have to do it manually. You can literally just bring in a sequence, hit that two layers button. There you go. That should save you tons of time. Now you can go ahead and put that on these cubes put on a random effector, put that to color mode, and uh, there you go. So I hope that helps. Um, like I said, in R13, it's gonna be fixed, which is awesome. But for now, this is a workaround for R12, and I hope that saves you some time. Thanks guys for checking out the site. We'll talk again soon. Bye everybody.